Never ever have enough time to play at all You know everybody wants to walk in someone else's shoes Everyone's forgot who they are All right, welcome back to Otter Creek and Rio Grande. Now, if you've been following along on YouTube, on the community tab, on the channel, uh, you know that I spent the last week working on a practice painting for the backdrop. And so the goal for this video is to paint from this corner to that corner, which is 54 inches by 17. I'm gonna get that painted and try and do it in a way that, again, all of this is practice. I don't think that it will be quite as detailed, or at least that's my plan, is to not put in near as much detail in what I'm gonna do on this than I did in my practice painting. So I'm, I've got everything set up over here. I've got some photos that I'm gonna reference on the computer and just gonna get started. And I realized that, you know, a lot of this you're not gonna be able to see because there's really no good place to put the camera where you can actually see what I'm doing because obviously I can't put the camera to my right. So I'm gonna try and, and edit this in a way that, that it's not too terribly boring, but yet you can, you can see how everything develops as I go. So I'm gonna stop talking and get busy and hopefully you'll stick around and get something out of this.
Okay, so this is probably a good time for me to try and explain what I'm attempting to do. Uh, so right now, I've just, I've blocked in most of the color that I'm, that I'm looking at. And, you know, back here, I've got a distant mountain that I just, you know, want a little bit of snow peak, snow caps on. And then I've actually put in, this is, this is my water. If you can see it down here. All I did was clean my brush out and then use that as a filter. And then I will eventually work the other color back into it. And that's gonna be a trick is trying to make this color transition, you know, in the distance in a way that that's a, looks a little natural. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna try and do, you can kind of see the water here. Uh, it's not really working for me at the moment. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try and make some adjustments. And I thought I would explain what I'm gonna try and do. So you can see this area right here. I'm gonna try and enforce that as kind of a, a peninsula that comes out. So I need to push the water back right here and maybe push it back a little bit there and then bring the tree line up just a little bit higher to reinforce the idea that this is closer to us. And then I'm also, and I know it's not focusing, but I'm, I'm sorry guys, and I'm gonna try and push this water back here back a little bit further and then bring this up, the, the landform up a little bit too to help kind of create distance. And then of course I'm gonna work this a little bit in here a little bit too so that uh, <clears throat> it, it looks a little more less square. So that's where I'm at right now and I'm gonna continue on. So I've spent a few days kind of digesting this, looking at it in pictures I, I took. And I can tell you, I, I don't really like this. I think where the light is on the rocks, uh, kind of, I don't know, schizophrenic. <laughs> where is the light coming from? It, it's, it's not working real well there. And in all honesty, the only reason I did this uh, was just to see if I could. I may very well completely paint through that. And then the other thing that I'm thinking is that my horizon line back here is really too far out. I'm thinking about bringing these mountains back in more in line with this one and going straight across. And then I, I, I kind of have a river envisioned coming through here you know, again, I'm doing this purely just to try and figure out how your horizontals and your verticals work and just being kind of experimental with it all. But I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and I'm gonna go back and work this area because I'm still not happy with how the water line is going on there. So I'm just gonna keep experimenting.
All right, so you can see I went ahead and gone in and, and done a lot of work in this area. And I didn't like how high the horizon line was here, but I just went ahead and decided to leave it like it is. And I think as I move forward over here, I'm gonna deliberately lower it and, and work with the lower horizon line on this side as I go. There's still lots of stuff over here that's wet and there's definitely some things I could do in here, but again, I'm not trying to look at this as a piece of art that you'd hang on a wall or anything highly detailed. I'm, I'm just working with colors and trying to figure out what colors I like. And you can clearly see I've got multiple different colors of browns and greens in here. And yeah, it's, it's a little schizophrenic, but it probably will be. And I'm probably gonna continue messing with those colors as I move this way. I, I think I wanna do kind of a deliberately blue-gray mountains on this side somewhere just to see how I like that. And again, this is all about me learning how to mix colors and, and getting the verticals and the horizontals and the descending uh, triangles you know, that's, that's all how this is done, you know, with uh, descending points of, of triangles that create depth. And you do that with lines and horizontals and things that I'm still not good at. But the only way to get better is just to keep plugging away at it and keep doing it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I tried to work with blues in this mountain chain here and I, I just didn't like it. Uh, and I think probably the, the biggest problem I have that, that I kind of see reoccurring is I think I'm doing everything just too big and I need to scale everything down that I'm doing just a little bit more because everything because of the size appears to be much closer in the scene probably than what I actually want it to be. And another issue that, that I see I've got right now is I've got this from here to here is I, I like it because it's there's a little bit of difference between the ridge lines and stuff like that. But then just standing back 10 feet, you see ridge line, 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 all almost identical to each other. So I'm thinking that's either my my left brain or my right brain uh, trying to make things systematic and, and logical. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to try and push in maybe a a further distant mountain here somewhere to help, <clears throat> excuse me, to help break up that, uh, that regularity of the ridge line and the fact there's also not really much difference in height in any of these. So I'm gonna do that next. And then I'm also gonna push in some, some browns on the light side. I, I, I kind of like what I've got going on on the shadow side. I'm, I'm happy with it. I just need kind of light blue snow on that side. And then I need some earth tones on this side going into the green. And then of course, I plan on putting trees somehow, some way in the close portion of the picture.
I'm gonna call this four foot section complete, so I'm gonna move on. Uh, you know, all I did, as you can see, I just kind of evaluated at the top of this ridge line what I thought needed adjusted. And so I made a high where I had a low and I made sure it wasn't center. And then I did the same thing over here. And, and all it really does is break up, you know, the whole even, even, even with all the ridge lines. Now this area in here where you can see, which looks like snow, that was complete accident. And I considered going in with my greens and getting rid of it, but I thought, you know, uh, I kind of like the way it looks, so I'm gonna leave it. And then back over here, I pushed in some greens at the bottoms and I got, you know, some some fall foliage in here, just, just to practice those, working with those colors. So I'm getting ready to move on to the next four foot section. And I might note that, you know, the, the distant mountains, that's two colors, slate gray and white. Uh, maybe just a little bit of the sky blue in places are popping through, but that, that's just two colors. And that's again, uh, Daryl Huffman's technique, or at least where I learned it from. So it's, it's coming along. I still have some things I can do over here, uh, but I will probably come back and just make some touch-ups on everything after I get finished where get get to the far right end. So I'm gonna start working on the next four foot section uh, right, right about now. Okay, well you can kind of see where I went with this. I made extra effort to kind of break up how this mountain looks back here and tried to, to put in some various shapes. I didn't really like all of the white that was left here. And honestly, I think I'll probably end up taking this mountain and, and maybe broadening it out and bringing it down here somewhere, I don't know. Uh, it, it's towards the end of the day, so I didn't get as far as I wanted, but it's still coming along pretty good. Now this area here, I don't like the brown. I'm, I'm probably gonna come back in with various shades of green. And then once I get some stuff in here, I think that will push this mountain back. And then I'm gonna have to decide whether I wanna try and make it closer in line color-wise with this one or keep it that kind of purple gray color, Payne's gray. Uh, I used lots of Payne's gray in here where I haven't, didn't use any anywhere else uh, up to this point, which I, I think I probably should have because I like that color. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right here somewhere, I can't see it because I, I got bad eyes, but there's a receptacle there. If you remember, I painted that. And uh, Neil, if your wife asks, I didn't paint the back of the receptacles, but I did paint the inside. So you, you can't see any white inside the little holes in the receptacle. That was just for Neil's wife. So at any rate, I'm gonna call it a weekend. Uh, I'm gonna try and, and make a point to paint at least an hour or maybe two hours every night this week so I can get this finished. Cause it's just, it's moving slower than I wanted it to. But I guess that's the nature of everything when it comes to model railroading. Uh, you think you can get something done in an hour and it takes four. So at any rate, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned and see what happens next. Gotta be a sunshine.